The Nasarawa state government has inaugurated its cabinet. The state governor, Abdullahi Sule, expects the new appointees to come up with innovative ideas for revenue generation. Godwin Agwam reports. Long awaited inauguration of commissioners, special advisors, and senior special assistants for Nasra State. These state executive council members are to take critical decisions for the state's development. The governor is particularly expectant they will make revenue generation a priority. As you settle down in your various ministries, you are to be proactive and creative in the execution of your own assignments. I charge you to initiate new ideas and strategies on how Nasrallah State can diversify its frontiers of revenue generation to enable it to execute its developmental pro programs and projects. This is the most viable way we can guarantee rapid economic development of our dear state. The appointees pledge commitment and dedication to a citizen-centered service to government. We shall be committed to the agenda of His Excellency the Governor and the pace of development that he has articulated under the LEAD project. Residents want the new public officials to be more focused on youth development and revenue generation, just as demanded by the governor. My expectation um, as a citizen of Nassau State is they will be hardworking, just like the governor himself, because he's a man that has shown this determination to move Nassau State to the next level. And I'm sure he will have a team that will be in synergy with his dream and aspiration. Well, um, my expectation personally is for this new exco to invest heavily in youth and entrepreneurship as a means of raising, um, um, generating internal revenue for the state. Nasra State as a state is blessed with um, a large population of youth which have been left um, underused over time. So The newly innovative appointees have been charged to live above board in the discharge of their duties in order to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people of the state. God, Agua, TVC News, Lafayette.